it is Friday. Thursday. <laughs> it is Thursday. Yeah. Treatment Thursday. That'd be all right. <laughs> oh, I'm in the process of making supper. We're going super simple. I'd already had it planned out. Um, like I said, from where I screwed up my menu and lost my menu and this, that, and the other. Anywho, I knew I needed an easy go-to treatment night meal. So we're doing Sloppy Joes and fries. I had some steak fries in the freezer that I've had in there for a while. Now, Tuesday night we did tacos, and I had just a little bit of that taco meat left. It worked out great putting it in that slow cooker thing. I.e., I know how to do that from now on. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah. So, I'm just mixing a, a pack of that hamburger meat that I browned up the other day. And what little bit of I had left from tacos. There's Fat Man. Hey, guys. Um, I'm just going to mix it together. Add some Sloppy Joe sauce to it. And boom, there you go. That way it will stretch, I know, to make enough. Um, Becca said she did want to eat whenever she gets home tonight. So, yeah, yeah. That I might use two cans of sauce. I don't know. I'm going to kind of heat my meat up just a little bit. And, um, wow, I was shocked at how long it is going to take my fries to get ready. I never read the instructions for fries. I'm a smart woman and I know how to make fries. Worse than what I thought. <laughs> it's two minutes on one side and flip them over and 20 minutes on the other. What the hannies? Yes, my hands are shaking for all get out. There. I propped y'all up between a banana and a pineapple. Um, But yeah, I'm just kind of browning up. Not browning up. I'm heating up this meat. Just in a saucepan once I kind of get it heated through um, then I will add my sauce and it can kind of do its thing um, I'm trying to test and see if my pineapple is ready to cut I don't want to let him run the one I had before I almost let it get going too far you know what I'm saying um, but I hate cutting him and him not be ready. I think I might leave him for the weekend. Um, when we're kind of here and can use it. I am. I am tuckered. And I haven't really done anything really and truly since I've been home. Um, I've lost a crochet hook. The... One and only crochet hook that I have out of all my dozens that will actually do the pattern that I'm working on. Yes, please. Um, yeah, I can't find it. Cannot find it nowhere. I even turned my chair upside down, y'all. You can't make this crap up. Still have not uh, done any sewing. Haven't done nothing with that. Not even with the sewing table. I did check a hammer to some tile. To see about my sewing table, that didn't turn out well. A, wear protective eyewear if you're going to start smashing tile with a hammer. Right, that man? Right. B, where was I going with this? Oh, I can't ever pick up my machine. So I need that man to pick up my machine. But, I don't have um, the little table I am going to use just to kind of IE get started with my girl dresses that I need to make and putting the ruffles on the onesies that I want to do I gotta hurry up and get moving we've got baby girls due in May and June so I got to hit it and get it y'all um, that and if I was gonna make Alice Murray a dress um, I doubt I'll make her Easter dress that just I don't foresee that happening um, yeah, I just don't foresee that happening. Look at the cute little place that, um, 
but yeah, I need to sew up some of these onesies. Um, put the either trim on the little outfits I'm gonna do. I, I can't decide, and I think that might be part of my dilemma. I, I, I just can't decide. Yeah, I am flushed. Um, where was B? B's is in her room, but there was a part B, or a second part. I don't know where I was going with this, but anyhow. Right, right, Raggy. For 10 minutes, so now i got to flip my fries. I, one reason why it's taking these fries so long is it is the thicker steak fries. Fat Man loves steak fries. Isn't that your favorite fry? Yep, and the crinkles my next. Yeah, yeah, I've got crinkles in there. Um, when and if I can ever get to Sam's, um, I will just go ahead and grab the big bag. It's cheaper to go ahead and get the big bags there. You get like eight pounds for near about nothing. Um, and that way I now got enough tater tots and fries for an entire month. We don't, we haven't been plowing through the fries now. That Brian's not here though, because he would. He would go and get an entire bag. If it was a Sands bag, I kid you not, he would use half a bag. Am I not lying? Yeah. He would use half a bag for a snack. Okay? You're talking four pounds of fries. And oh, yeah, 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 I can eat them all. I can eat them all. And wouldn't he wind up throwing half of them away? Burn me up to no end. So we have not plowed through the fries like we used to. And so that was one reason why I just started getting them at Aldi. Um, it just saved me a trip. It was just easier on me just to get them that way or put them in my Walmart pickup order, which I can't decide whichever way I need to go. Just do a Walmart pickup order or do a you know, go buy Sam's or just do a Sam's order. I've tried getting online doing Sam's and supposedly some of the stuff I'm looking for, they don't have. Um, or they're telling you you have to go in store to get it. So, wah wah. Um, yeah. And I really need to clean out the refrigerator before I do anything. Um, Hannah did kind of look through the freezers, see what we have there, and just kind of collectively go through. Um, yeah. If I do Sam's, it would be more so for household items. Um, work. On our last thing of trash bags, we are, I just got enough dish soap to get us through probably like the rest of the month. I just bought a little bottle from Walmart, just kind of eat by. Um, I like getting the tabs from either Costco or Sam's. They last near but for forever. So it's just little things like that. Um, your normal run-of-the-mill household stuff. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to do sloppy joes and fries. Um, oh, shoot. Alright. So, I'm just going to kind of let that sloppy joe stuff kind of smush on in there. That man, you're going to need more Vienna sausage, don't you? Yes, dear. Yeah, we only have two. I noticed that we only have two cans left. Um, and that was one thing that they were talking about you need to kind of have as a backup plan, just in case. Um, canned meats. Um, I usually keep canned chicken on hand, and I do not have any more. Um, and we usually have a case of Viennas on hand. 
we are down to two cans not two cases but two cans so won't want um, so that's canned chicken vienna's um, we're good on canned vegetables um, canned beans I might need to stock back up on um, canned tomatoes I am down to oh, I'm only down to two cans of canned tomatoes what the hannies the apocalypse can't happen without canned tomatoes <laughs> Um, I needed to <coughs> um, let's see got a few onions I got some sweet potatoes I need to dig through and see if I can find that pork um, just kind of oddballing stuff of what I would need what I don't need um, we might need to stock up on a few more soups Maybe some ramen, just El Cheapo stuff. Um, maybe some Chipotle's. Just canned goods, just in case. So, canned meats, soups, beans, your proteins. Right, Fat Man? Right, big girl. <laughs> so, how was your day, Fat Man? Did you work hard or hardly work? Hardly work. This is, has been his trend. Hardly work. Yeah. Hey, I can't say nothing. I've hardly worked a day, too. <laughs> I didn't get in trouble. I did get put in the corner, but I didn't get in trouble. So, I get in trouble. Uh-uh. You're slipping. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, supper was wonderful. Hey, I wanted to show this is how much this is some Sloppy Joe stuff we had left. Like I said, I added that like pound that I browned up the other day plus a little bit of the taco meat we had left. And now I'm leaving this out for Becca tonight. We have one bun and then she can use um, white bread. Um, and then I got to looking through the refrigerator. I know I wanted to wash up the rest of my slow cooker. My little, you know, my three set thing. This is a little bit of the taco chicken we had left. I am saving it. Um, and I put on there taco chicken. Um, but I got to thinking about it will be great for crock pot camp stew. Because you take cooked chicken, um, cooked beef, cooked pork, barbecue. Now, usually that's whenever I do buy. Usually I don't buy like the Lloyd's or the Aldi brand or whatever. Unless I'm doing crock pot camp stew. And then I'll buy these. They don't make chicken. Um, they make the pork and they make the beef. Or if they didn't used to, I don't think. Anywho, I'll take that leftover taco chicken. And I can add that to crock pot camp stew. It's a good way of using up some cans. Um, always keep like your canned lima beans or frozen lima beans, canned corn, um, your canned potatoes, anything like that that you can think of that you is shelf stable. And that's another thing we were talking about, like the um, canned meats, like the vienas. I'm what, no. I don't care how desperate and all times get, I will never buy any more beef stew. We got so burned out on that, right after me and Fat Man got married, we were so broke and so poor, we lived off of any more beef stew. And I finally, I mean, even now to this day, if you mention it, he'll, you're about to start throwing up, and I will to, yeah, no. No, I'd rather go outside and eat grass. Then eat any more beef stew. I'm sorry, I just would. <laughs> um, I'd eat cat food, I think, before I would eat any more beef stew. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, shelf stable milk. That is something. Years back, we used to do powdered milk because it was cheaper. We couldn't afford the, you know, gallon milk. 
and so it was cheaper to do powdered milk. Um, our kids didn't know no better. We didn't tell them no different. Um, and then it got to where you priced powdered milk. Sweet hennies to heaven. That stuff was expensive. I don't know when the tides turned, but anywho, it got expensive. But now you can buy the shelf-stable milk, like your almond milks, your soy milks, um, you know, that didn't have to be refrigerated. So I might grab just like one, you know, just one of the almond milk, maybe. Um, I know that that would, push comes to shove, that would be used or drank or whatever, at least in cooking. Can you cook with almond milk? I'm assuming you can, because if somebody's allergic to dairy milk, yeah, yeah, you'd have to be able to cook with almond milk. Would it? Oh no! I know. Don't ever put skim milk in the microwave, child. I was trying to heat me up some milk one time for milk toast. My grandmother would always make us milk toast when we were sick. Um. Don't heat milk, 2% milk up in the microwave. That stuff will clabber on you quicker than if a witch stuck her finger in it. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't turn out so well. Alright, so I got my dishes going. I'm just kind of sitting here decompressing. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to think of ideas, things. I'm A, I'm looking toward next week as far as a menu plan. That's what's going through my mind of what do I have in there right now that I can base next week's menu off of so then I can take grocery money and put toward other essentials. Um, that that we did the other day um, we did take, I'd moved some out of our savings because that was kind of like a necessary, not necessary, but necessary. Yeah, yeah. So, for peace of mind, yeah. And it's not like it was stuff that we wouldn't use. I need to think about matches. I need to think about, I mean, stuff that you're going to use anyway. I would never go out and buy, like, cases of MREs or anything like that. Yeah, no, no. <sighs> store what you eat, eat what you store. Kimmy from She's in Her Apron um, had said that, and that is the best advice you could have. If you know you aren't going to eat it, I am not going to go out and buy a case of sardines. It, if I ain't eating sardines now, I guarantee you when push comes to shove, I ain't eating sardines when I'm starving. Nay, nay. Store what you eat, eat what you store. And you're constantly rotating. Yes, yes. Because, and a lot of people will talk about, well, I can't believe that they bought, you know, chocolates or gum if you have small kids you need to think about those comfort foods those comfort items um that if you're home and they're quarantined for like 14 days or whatever or they can't get out and you can't get to the store and get them a treat to keep them appeased and peace going in the house you know have those little just those little simple treats for them. You know, licorice. Um, think about, you know, uh, suck candy. You know, if they do happen to get a sore throat or something, uh, have cough drops on hand. Um, make sure you have Pedialyte. Uh, we aren't in that phase of life, but uh, I, I have thought about I'm going to get Carol Beth. I think um, some of the chocolate milk that is shelf stable. Um, I'm going to get some more drink sticks. And then um, the drink sticks would actually be cheaper than the Gatorade. Um, yeah, yeah. Because you can get the electrolyte drink sticks. I, and it just occurred to me to do that. That is way cheaper than the Gatorade. 
you on it late and they'll tell you one gallon of water per person per day for 14 days to that you also need to do at least one Gatorade type Gatorade Powerade electrolyte type drink you're going to need that um, magnesium the sodium the potassium you're going to need that if your body's not getting it through other means it might not be the best balanced diet that you've had now you're talking about to get by with no Vianna sausages are not the most optimum healthiest balanced food um, no chili it in the most optimum health healthiest canned food but it will get you by it will keep your survival going uh, ramen noodles I'm not no no I, I don't you know we might use three during the winter time for my uh, crock pot chicken noodle soup um, but it is a very cheap shelf stable meal you figure one pack a week per person very 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 cheap meal just grab a case boom there you go one meal you know one lunch where and it's something warm it's something comforting you know that and that will get you that one meal in your your stomach um so no you aren't looking at the healthiest balanced diet but you do need that electrolyte type drink um as far as your vegetables and fruits that's where you want to maybe look into a if you've got your canned goods b your frozen or canned you maybe canned fruit um frozen fruits where if you do like smoothies that's where that shelf stable milk would come in and um <laughs> frozen spinach add that to it yeah yeah you want to weigh um, make sure you've got vitamins this is something that was brought up um, yesterday of are you taking your vitamins mm, I'm out need to get some so vitamins um, and I should be taking them anyway like I said it's not like I'm gonna go out and get MREs I need to purchase stuff that I should be doing anyhow I'm supposed to be on my women's silver multivitamin anyway. So I ran out and I just never bought no more. So, but that's just a little FYI tidbit for you. So I think that's, I'm going to call it a quits for, oh my. It's a quill. <laughs> All right, so we're going to call it a, a, a night, and I will see y'all prayfully tomorrow.